it's going to take more than a political solution to deal with the problem we have every day. I cannot remember anything other than the lack of admission that we're in this war for immoral purposes and people don't like talking about it. They really don't like talking about it. But on that same level, Silence, deafening silence, is the question of immigration. And we're caught up in our speeches and our rhetoric. But if we got 10 or 15 million people in the United States that have no legal documentation, who have you heard that's come up with anything about what we're going to do? I mean, have you heard of some of the weirdest ideas that you can tell? Coming from our friends, I mean, I sit with Ted Kennedy and I've got to find a more decent person. And I said, Robert, well, find me again. They, they get $5,000 and they turn it in and they go back to Mexico and they stay there for two years and then, and then they come back and they take their kids for Americans with them or they leave them here or these are the good guys. Now the bad guys are the sheriffs that are running for re-election and the mayors of these little towns around the country. All they want to do is arrest somebody and get on TV. They don't care about the family, the children. They don't care about how many hotel workers they have or restaurant workers or people who work landscaping. I mean, they're working against their interests. It's almost like a slaveholder saying, get rid of the slaves, but we want them to work. And the problem that we're going to have here is that there's one word, only one word, that's going to bring a solution back to Bob Jackson. There's only one word that's going to bring a resolution to this problem. Who can guess what that word is? Who can guess? People don't use it, but you, it's the only solution to the problem. That's it. What is it? Amnesty. Amnesty. You cannot. You cannot take some person that's here with a family illegally. Yes, I said it. And then say you're going to arrest them. Because right down the line, you got a group of inconsistencies. You don't have the police to find them. You don't have the police stations to hold them. You don't have the courts to convict them. You don't have the jails to hold them. You don't have the social services to take care of their kids. What are you talking about? You can debate all you want. You can't do it. The restaurant industry won't allow it. The hotel industry can't afford it. The agriculture industry came out. But it is a racist exchange of people of different colors and backgrounds that allow us to get on television, each with their own plan, in, in, in the depth of, of hypocrisy, the depth of which I've never seen since I've been in public office. And so, to me, the answer there has to be, and I know I'm putting a lot of faith and the religious quarters, but they're not term limited, you see. <laughs> These ministers claim that they deal directly with a superior being. And it just seems to me that we have to put some pressure on them to put pressure on the politicians just to do what? To do 